And we find ourselves at the stadium that played host to Super Bowl 52, the wondrous U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the New York Giants and the Minnesota Vikings. The New York set to take the field. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now Jones. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. The intended target, Saquon Barkley, and it's third down. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Throwing Jones. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's his first catch of the game and an impressive one against multiple defenders. And how about that start? Really aggressive. Yeah, there was double coverage out there, but that didn't stop them at all. They went right at it and defeated it on that play. They go play action here on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Here now is second and ten, again from the 41. Off play action, Jones. He'll buy some time right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Not the warmest start throwing the football. He was one for three, now one for four on the opening drive. So getting him comfortable is the key. And for him, it might be different than what we think is comfortable. We're probably thinking swing passes, easy check downs. Some guys, they're better off throwing it downfield. That's what really loosens them up. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that will be incomplete as well. Not the opening possession they were looking for, especially on the road. No doubt about it, because they wanted to come out and establish a little momentum right away. But now bringing up a fourth down, nifty possession, not what they were seeking. On fourth down, Jamie Gillen on the punt for the Giants. And this returnable for Rager. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. That'll be a 43-yard punt, but an end of just 33 following a 10-yard return. And it will be Vikings ball, first and 10. They go play action. Cousins. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up second down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right? Whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay inbounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Now the first carry for Dalvin Cook. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. They get 
six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. They run again on first down. Cook, and he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Play fake. Cousins. Open man is Osborne. He's got it. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Cousins on first down. Over the middle, complete. That's Cook. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. But well, it seems pretty clear on this opening drive that they want to get him involved, not only, Charles, in the run game, but in the pass game as well. And he can be such a weapon for them when they utilize him this way. And, partner, you know I'm a veteran, right? In other words, that means a little bit older. <laughs> Back in my day, we used to call a guy like this a workhorse, except he carried the ball all the time. Now they get it to him a variety of ways, but you're right, they won't run their offense through him. No, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. On second down, Cook. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Well, this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and 10. Nice run on second and 10 when probably everyone was expecting them to throw the football. Now, if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. They'll run it. Here's Cook. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. What would look like a march to the end zone is hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Cousins gives way to Cook. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. K.J. Osborne from 10 yards out. And the Vikings are on the board first here this afternoon. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose.
Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Taken in at the three. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. They begin with a run by Barkley. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Back to throw. Jones. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration of the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Looking to throw. Jones. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. 46 on his first kick, this one in that neighborhood as well. That hurts. If it was running into the kicker, wouldn't be a first down. Roughing, it is a first. And just think about the differences between the two. Running into the kicker almost feels inadvertent, just a small tap, so to speak. But when you rough it, here's your bodies are hitting the ground and flying all different places. And the difference is five yards or 15. And in this case, that's a big play. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. He's going to let this one go deep. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. So, line of scrimmage still at 39 on second and 10. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. Five yards, now it's third and five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Back to throw. Jones. And this will be caught. It's Isaiah Hodgins. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Charles, to move the chains that time, they had to complete it in a double coverage, and they got it done. And it's never easy overcoming multiple defenders, but he sure made it look simple. Found the right spot to exploit and won his one-on-two matchup. Here's Jones on first down. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well. So give some credit to the defense. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing again. Jones. Got a man. That's Richie James. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. They'll look to throw again. 
That now the ball comes loose, and the Vikings pick up the football, and they will take over at the 26-yard line. Cousins now after the fumble recovery. The completion good for three and it's second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Cousins throw complete to his receiver, Thielen. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. First down, here's the run with Cook. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now Cousins. And he'll just get rid of it. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Here's Cousins. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants 18. That third down conversion, good for 23. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Minnesota. It's the Vikings in possession of the football as they are looking at a second and five situation. Draw play, Cousins to Cook. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. And this offense on third down today, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and six. He's going to get this one down to Cook. And he's brought down to following a pretty juke move that gives him the first down. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. On that snap, he's a hero of his defense up to the play he just made. A one-possession game, and his hit kept it exactly that. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. 
Back to the ground, Cook. And he gets him a little bit closer and takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Third and goal for Cousins. Yeah, he's got it. Touchdown. K.J. Osborne with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Vikings go up by two touchdowns. In the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game. And I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. Joseph connects on the extra point. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Well, I guess we just discovered that someone is certainly not going to sit back and just take it in this game, huh? No, they were trying to get that touchdown back in one shot. One shot, trying to help out his defense and let the other team know they were coming after him. To throw again on second down. Jones buying time to his left. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. Rough incompletions on first and second down. It certainly seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense, quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Operating from the gun. Jones. Flush to his right. And he backs it away, and it falls down incomplete. Now that's a dangerous throw right there. Moving off to his right, throwing it all the way back across field to his left. I know he had a lot of confidence in his arm. Sometimes the ball can just hang up there when it goes that distance. He was fortunate it was just incomplete. Jamie Gillen now on to punt. We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball. So they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just not supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. 
Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Cousins. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down to throw Cousins. Try to lay one up deep and unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Two things you can do in that situation. Run and punt the football or try and take your shot at getting the first down. They chose the latter, but they'll have to punt all the same. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Ryan Wright. Waiting on it will be Richie James. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be giant football first and 10. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game, and that three and out on the last possession, they told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Looking to throw. Jones. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, he's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job here to force an incompletion. The offense on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and ten. Back to throw. Jones. This one goes out wide for Barkley. Yeah, almost, but not quite. Needed ten. He got nine. Third down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all his progressions downfield. Forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? On to punt, Jamie Gillen. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the, at the 15 yard line. Not too bad. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here that could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? Mm. So, how do we, have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. A second down throw for Cousins. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Cousins setting up the screen for Cook. And he is stopped just short on third down. Got nine yards, but needed ten. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. And here's Ryan right now as he'll kick it away for the second time. 
And a fair catch call for and made just inside the 35-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He's got Bellinger. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and yeah, that's going to bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. Looking to throw. Jones. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. First target, first catch, and a first down. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets them a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. Jones on first and ten. A throw for Galladay is going to be intercepted. And the Vikings are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. They start the drive with Cook. Gets past one man. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run. But for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into giant territory. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Third and short yardage. Cousins got an open man finding Jefferson. And he will have a Vikings first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short. Blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. On first and ten, Cousins. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Throwing again on second and 10. Cousins, and that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half. Unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. Are you going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety? They feel like he can win every battle. On third down, Cousins. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Was sacked by Justin Ellis. I remember when I was a kid and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs, they covered well, allowed for the sacks. Sodas were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel oh. so, I could pay the, so I could pay the proper okay, price. Okay, how much were they? A dime? <laughs> what were they? Uh, 15 cents. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds. And they'll spot it right at the 20. The New York set to take the field. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception of the ball game. so trying to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. And to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened in the first half and not in a close game in the fourth quarter, but you're absolutely right, partner. One of the last things this offensive quarterback has to witness again in this game. Kind of an obvious question, Charles, but anything you try to avoid after your first pick or you say it's one interception, we're still in the first half, I'm going to do the same thing. 
I think you want to avoid playing scared, you know, and put it into the mind of the quarterback that you've lost confidence in him. Make sure you get some throws that he's going to be able to complete, make him feel good about himself, and continue to run your offense. Another try after the first down sack. Jones. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, Barkley. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On is Jamie Gillen to punt this one away. And a fair catch taken here right at about the 40-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And they will take over first and 10. And now out comes Minnesota. Now if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? Well, we're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Cousins now to throw on first down. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Sack back at about the 43-yard line. Buried behind the line by Aziz Ojolari. So, Charles, no turnovers yet for this offense, but those sacks now, they're starting to pile up. And one thing usually leads to another because they've got to figure out how the offensive line and everyone else involved in protection can keep their quarterback upright and allow him a chance to throw the ball downfield. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. Throwing his cousins. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. So it looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time ends up leading him just a bit too much. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This from 54 yards away. And this is going to wind up left. Well struck, but it's no good. The Giants with one final possession here in this first half. And maybe a chance for a quick completion and then a long field goal try. We'll see. Good starting field position for the New York Giants here as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. Throwing Jones to Barkley on the check down. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. And the Giants with one final possession here in this first half. Time enough possibly for one heave to the end zone. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. This will approach NFL record territory. It's a 62-yard attempt. That's on target, but it's no good. He had it on line, but 
but it came up just shy of the crossbar. So we've reached halftime here in Minnesota with the Vikings on time. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach Kenei now out of his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And the Vikings set to go on offense to begin the third quarter. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. And I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. The defenders certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There was a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage, and that throw had no shot. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. They run the counter with Cook. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. And that was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. Cousins now. Steps away to his left. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. And here's Ryan right now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 26. He'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Again, it's Barkley. And he'll get a couple up to the 29. And they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. The third down now, those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them, just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. This is one of the dangers of going for the punt block. And you know before you even call going for the block, it's a risk-reward play. So many factors come into it. They went after it, and you know punters, what they do? They leave their leg up in there, an extra count or two, hoping someone comes into contact. So a big break. The roughing the kicker called on fourth down leads to first and ten. Now Jones. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feed down complete. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Meanwhile, Jones throw on target to James. 
And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. And Daniil Hunter, he's the one who gets in there and brings him down to the ground. And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. Throwing on second and long. Jones. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. The defense was ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to doubling a back, you better prevent a completion, but give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort, turn it into a successful play. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Jones in trouble here, and down he goes. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and also brings up four. There's a little bit of defense right there. Nickel set, five defensive backs. They just snuffed out every route that was going. Quarterback never got rid of the football. Here's Jamie Gillendale as he's on to punt for New York. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Minnesota now ready for their next possession. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tempt to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. Throwing to start the drive, but that went incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. They'll try again from the 20 on second and 10. Now Cousins. He'll find Thielen work in the middle. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A first down for Minnesota. Cousins finding Thielen. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down, and finish this one off. Cousins able to find Jefferson here complete. And they're going to get this up to midfield. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Cousins now from the 50. Eluding the pressure right. And this one too low. Offense is moving it a little bit, have them back on their heels, but they're in a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try them out a stand before they're backed up even further. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Play action now, Cousins. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Textbook coverage right there. Played the ball. Never lost sight of where it was headed. And stayed in perfect position to make a play on it. Able to keep the receiver and the quarterback in his sight lines. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now Cousins. 
And this is caught for the ground. And they stop him up short of the first down as they get him at about the 43. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. Now Cousins on fourth down. To the right side and complete to Jefferson. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. The Vikings unable to convert here on fourth. And the Giants are going to get the football back. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at the 41-yard line. A play-action fake. They'll look to throw. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Well, now hang on here because Saquon Barkley is in some discomfort, so we're going to have a pause here for an injury. Hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Back to throw, Jones. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it's second down. If you're running out route, it's likely you're gonna end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? Toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Brita, he'll try the right side. Seven yards there and a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Nothing in that first half, nothing on the last drive, but they're moving now with a first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. This pass into the hands of Bellinger. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. On second down, a run with Breida. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. An extra defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. Operating from the gun, Jones. That's to Galladay, and he's got it. Touchdown, New York. A seven-yard touchdown grab, and the Giants have got it back to within a score. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done.
come the Vikings. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now we'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. He'll start by handing it off to Dalvin Cook. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. The guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They run it again with Cook. And a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line. They'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. I'm getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. Cousins to throw it. And that is incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. The New York set to take the field. And the football changing hands here as this offense takes the field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage but also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. And now they'll stop play here, at least momentarily. A member of the Vikings in some discomfort after that last play. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Up the middle with Barkley. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. First down for the Giants as they pick up 12. First down, Giants. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A first down carry for Barkley. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. 42 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he has a great opportunity. He's taking full advantage of it. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A really good pickup of 28 yards. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Looking to throw. Jones. And he's going to go down. Same thing in the 13-yard line. Daniil Hunter picks up his second sack of the afternoon. The first and goal looked like things were set up nicely, and now all of a sudden on second and goal, Charles, a big challenge ahead of them. And you have to know when you're this close to the goal line, things are going to happen faster, so you've got to get the ball out quick. Not going to have much time in the pocket before the defenders bring pressure. 
being chased out left. And he'll slide to a halt here, still a little shy of the first down marker. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. I thought they were going to sack him there like they did on first down. Great coverage, but he found a way to move with his legs. Yeah, his ability to take off, not only did he get some yardage back, he got a little bit extra. Really helps him on third down, makes it manageable now. Jones. Touchdown, Giants! Daniel Bellinger, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. But we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Nuwangu now from his end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. And he gets this to the 35, good for a gain of five. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays at that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Meanwhile, Cousins throw pulled in by Jefferson. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 22 yards there, a first down. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Aziz Ojolari able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Cousins, that one into the hands of Thielen, complete. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Cousins. Open man is Thielen is complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 27-yard line. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. First down, here's Cousins. This one brought in by Jefferson. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. The end result, 21 yards. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. 
a field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Cousins again. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Not the first and goal play they drew up. Multiple defenders in to bring him down to the ground. Well, that's not how you hope to draw it up there on first and goal, CD, by taking a sack like that. Well, they tried to be aggressive, didn't they? They didn't want to try and work their way past the goal line. They wanted it right there on that play. Unfortunately, it backfired against them. Now they have to try and pick it up here moving forward. A 10-yard completion, but still now facing third and goal. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Throwing his Cousins. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. A little extra pressure with this one for Greg Joseph. This to break our fourth quarter time. Joseph's got it, and they take a 17-14 lead. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long way from over. The devil puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Another drive coming up for New York's offense. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 18. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. And that is incomplete. Trying to erase that deficit all at once. One big shot. He took it. Unfortunately for him, incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. Five yards, now it's third and five. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Throwing Jones. James has got it, complete. And they work this run up field across the 45. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Now, Jones. Escaping the pressure right. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit. And he gets a small gain on the play.
Looking to throw again on second down. Jones, they'll set up the screen to Barkley. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. Boy, that was certainly well read defensively, and the key to any screen play is space to work, and there was none to be found there, and they tackled him for just a short game. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Jones. That's complete to Slayton. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. They got the completion. Now they probably had two plays called in the hole, so they've got to get to the line of scrimmage, get set, and run their fourth down play. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. And this will be spotted on the other side of the field. It's a 61 yard attempt. And that one will be no good. He never had it online. It's well wide to the left. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. Uh, we so often think of these kickers as automatic at any distance. And it's just not the case because when you start talking about 50 plus yards, it's still a tough one to connect on. This one ends up no good. And that should put to rest any chance of this game getting to overtime. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Now a timeout called for by the defense as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. The Vikings offense now heading out to take over. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Again, it's Cook. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Victory formation time for the Vikings as they'll take a knee here. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to swell the lead to six. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And that will keep this a three-point game. So the folks on hand here growing a little restless with their kicking game. That's now two misses so far. And in a tight game, fourth quarter, the fans are the only ones getting restless, Brandon. There were a few looks of disbelief on that sideline as well. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And now he'll fire deep downfield for James. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. What a game we were treated to in this one. And on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield. The one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on the final play of getting into midfield them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though.